guys, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today, we're on Medved, and I'm going to be doing a quick, I am I'm going to call it, review of Medved, and why I love Medved so much. We're going to do this with every map, and I'm going to say why I love every map so much, because there's really nothing wrong with it. And then when Finland comes out, on um, sometime in June, hopefully I'll have all my reviews out by then, we're going to compare Finland to all the other maps, and see if it's even comparable, because it is a completely mainly based on waterfowl even though there's brown bear and moose and all that white tail but even if there is um a new great one moose that'll be the only map to grind two different great ones on so it would be a great one moose and a great one white tail same thing with brown bear even if it is brown bear it'll be the same map to grind um two different great ones on so that'll be one major plus side it could be the only good thing about that map Okay, so let's get into the first thing I love about Medved. So the first thing that I love, and the reason that I chose this map, is because it is my favorite map. And it's it's white, as you can see. It's literally white. Everything on here is white. So the animals stand out extremely well, as you can see. Don't even, even have to highlight it. You can see they stand out extremely well. And it's super easy to heart shot one with 308 like I'm going to do right there. Raptor. As you can see, fully vital organ hit, and literally I barely even had to look for an animal. Perfect art shot. It's an amazing shot. Okay, let's move on to the second reason why I'm completely in love with Medved. And the second reason is, is because there's always something drinking. You'll always be shooting something. So like, say Moose drank from this time to this time. Nothing else would be drinking during that time. So once that time ends, another time starts. Usually on maps, they'll be scattered, and there'll be like a dead hour where nothing will drink. Like on, for instance, Layton, it's all scattered all over the place. And that's what the population resets are for, to kind of even everything out again. And Medved was just, because of the lack of species, there's literally six uh, species, and they all drink more than once in a 24-hour period. So that's what I love about this map. You can always find something. But... The downside is, the map is humangly, it's one of the biggest maps in the game, and there's only six species, so, though there's a lot of species, or there's a lot of the species, you might have a hard time finding the species drink. Alright, the third reason that I absolutely love Medved is because if you do like doing missions, even if you don't, I mean, there's literally 31 missions, I think, which is not that bad compared to some of the other maps. It still takes a few days to do it, though. It took me about a week. And it, they, uh, the last mission, you get a free um, super rare, and that super rare is a 9 legendary albino uh, brown bear. So it's actually really cool. He's a guaranteed diamond. There's no possible troll. If I have footage of that up on my channel, I'll probably put a card in the top right corner right about now. And yeah, like I'll show you guys the missions. There's literally like, and there's quite a few, but like in uh, late end, there's over 50. So like, and they're all super simple, like, search the area for evidence of a predator, and they purposely put links in there, and that area is literally, like, not even that big at all. There's literally links running around everywhere for you to find it. The elusive links, optional spot of links, take a photograph of a lynx, harvest links. It's not even that bad at all. And I shot my first diamond lynx, uh, doing that machine. And then, the albino brown bear, harvest the albino brown bear. They don't mention that it's nine legendary <laughs> until you actually see it. But, yeah, it's a really nice find. I'll show you guys it in the lodge right now. Okay, here we are at my trophy lodge. Might as well give you guys a little tour while we're in here. Not much. Uh, three diamond white tail. Um, a diamond black or black tail with a diamond cougar or mountain lion attacking him. A diamond moose that I shot in the butt. And where everything else is, is my diamond moose. Another diamond white tail. Another diamond white tail. Diamond or that was a gold Rocky Mountain elk. He was a troll, but he was a five medium. And then right back here is my guaranteed diamond. So my uh I don't know how he made diamond, but he did. And my two diamond ibex that I shot live on stream within ten minutes from each other, including the nine legendary red deer, but that's my red deer lodge. And here's the beast himself. And for proof he's a diamond, there you go. Fur type albino, he's absolutely gorgeous. I love this dude so much. And you can put him in all different positions. He's the longest brown bear. There 
go. That's pretty cool. That's real nice looking. Albino diamond. That's a one in one billion chance you'll find one. So you literally just get a free one from doing a week of missions. Not that bad at all. Okay, and the last reason, but definitely not the least reason, because everybody cares about my favorite species. Obviously, my favorite species in the game is, well, in Medved at least. My favorite species is always going to be Red Deer. I'm obsessed with Red Deer, I don't know why. But my favorite species in Medved, the Huntable, is Moose. And the reason I like Moose is because I've already shot two Diamond Moose out of this map. And I, I don't know, I just like Moose. They're really hard to kill, so I guess it gives you more of a challenge and gives the game a little more aspect. And they're really discouraging. I've thrown my controller out my bed about 30 times because I missed the moose. So it's just something stupid. They're really, really stupid. Well, there's a, a Siberian muskie. So I'm mating calls. Go pop them with it. Another thing I really like about Medved is that you can literally hunt anything from a deer the size of a pebble. Well, not a pebble. Probably about, I don't know, like a tiny little deer that's about three times as small as a whitetail to a great big brown bear. In case you guys didn't know, brown bear are the same thing as grizzly bear, except grizzly just live in Yukon, Alaska. They're literally the exact same species, they just have different names. And while I'm miserably trying to find this uh, possible male uh, mustier that I have no idea what it even is, um, I got tons of comments on my previous Call the Wild content. Do I hunt in real life? And yes, I do, and I'm going to tell you guys a story right now something absolutely terrifying that happened to me last year when I was hunting. Yes, I got a deer. There's a moose. Okay, we got a little bit of stuff around us. A male moose and a male musk deer. So, on the story, I shot my deer. It was just a little spike horn, uh, whitetail. We actually, I, I like sculling all of my deer that I get, so that's what that means is taking a skull, cutting all the skin off of it, and hanging it up. I'll show you guys the skull when I do my setup tour that Jake's been begging me to do. I'll do it eventually in the summertime, probably on Mondays we'll have it out. But anyways, the story is, I shot my deer in real life, it was a spike horn, and my buddy Jackson shot a six point. I was so mad, you guys have seen Jackson, he's been on a million uh, videos. But either way, I love I loved my deer, he was nice. My deer was actually bigger than his, like body wise, the deer just had a bigger rat. But anyways, um, I shot my deer. And we went over to my buddy Jackson and his dad's stand to help him uh, get his deer out of the woods because we're the one with the deer cart. And when I got there, I was already getting a good job. And it was kind of a weird spot. I don't ever, ever go there. My dad used to hunt there at Crap Town. He still hunts there right now. Called, we call it the Oaks, but it's really just part of the Manistee Forest in Michigan. And when I was there, um, I, I was the one that hauled the deer cart out into the woods and we found them, we got met up, we were all happy looking at Jackson's deer. And my dad says, hey Lonnie, that's Jackson's dad's name, um, which, which weighs the way out. Lonnie says, go that way, you'll eventually make it out. And uh, 30 minutes later, we didn't make it out. Okay, so we're all terrified. I'm bawling my eyes out. I'm like, okay, this is the end of it. I was like, I'm never going to go hunting again. I was panicking because I have anxiety really, really, really bad. And... So Jackson was loving it because he's a crazy outdoorsman, like probably more than I am. I mean, I don't know. He's got more Call of Wild hours than I do, but I just restarted him. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. But anyways, Jackson was loving it until we split up. So why we split up, my dad knew that this was a little portion of the Manistee Forest that they had a little trail. Okay, this moose is not going to show itself. It's a little trail going all the way around it of this little portion, a little two track, like in a circle. So if we went in one direction, where's that? Five medium. I still think I'm not. Why not? Pop it down the I don't want the 300. No, we want the 233. Come on. I don't think we're gonna be able to get him. It took too long. Oh, he's glitched. Let's go. 328 and boom. What? No, 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 no. Uh, we missed both times. Gosh dang it. Well, whatever. I had it on the wrong zero ring. That was my fault. So anyways, continuing with the story. Um, we split up because my dad knew that if we went in a straight line, we'd eventually hit the trail because it was in a perfect circle. So why not try to, um, 
go to the trail. That's the last thing we could do besides spending the night in the woods and finding our way out in the morning. So we were obviously going in circles. We split up. My dad originally wanted to- Why is this doing a mating call right when he just got- What the heck? This game, I'm telling you. But anyways, um, we were on our way out. And my dad originally wanted me to wait with Lonnie and Jackson to go find their way out. And I was like, no, that's not happening. So I went with my dad. So we went and sent teams of two. And apparently, I don't know what happened with Lonnie and Jackson, but they were attempting to find their way out with some crazy technique Jackson seen on TikTok. So we were walking out, and we found the trail because we followed the moon in a straight line. And it was a bright orange moon that night, almost like God knew it was going to happen that we were, well, he probably didn't know it was going to happen. We were going to get lost. And he made the moon orange for us. And we were all happy, so we were like, okay, well, that's nice. And then on the way out, uh, I was still crying because I was scared. And we made it back to the truck and we set the car alarm off. I got in the car. I got in the truck and my deer was still in the truck. We never did take my deer out. There's a lot of detail I missed, like driving my dad's truck and drifting it around the corner. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I had to drive my dad's truck because his hands were full of my deer's blood because I was too much of a wimp to gut it myself. So, what happened is... We eventually found Lonnie and Jackson, or my dad did, and we went back to camp, and that was the most terrifying hunting experience I've ever had in my life. There you guys go. I know you guys have wanted that story for a while because I've always told you something crazy happened, and you always get mad at me because I never tell you on stream. And by the way, tonight's stream at 6.30 is canceled, Jake. Sorry about that. Um, well, it might not be. It depends. It depends on if I go for ice cream or not. I might go for ice cream. Anyways, that's why I love Medved, and that's why I have over 36 hours into Medved. So, yeah. And I, I, like, I grind on Medved at least once a day. If not, uh, I'll play on Quattro because it's my favorite Red Deer map. Until I get Tiawaroa. As soon as Finland comes out, we're going to do an instant review on it. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. If you can, if you can, simply use your finger to scroll down and press that little red button. This has white letters on it. This says S U B S C R I B E subscribe. I would absolutely appreciate that like no one ever has before because I want to get to my first thousand subscribers before I have to go back to school because I'm going to be pounding out videos every single day. I know I talk a lot. And if you can, like that button or hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next amazing video on this Twitter.